Hello friends, we are going to learn something very very interesting today with an example. What is it? Very simple, we will understand what exactly is transfer learning. I have explained you this in my theoretical session as in what is transfer learning, how do we use it. Let me give you a crux of it right now. It is nothing but we are going to not create anything new. Instead, we will use the existing pre-trained models and we will get the results done. For an instance, I have XYZ already available. I'm going to utilize all of them and I'll get that target done. That's called transfer learning. We are going to use the same thing and I'm going to use multiple available models like VGG16, Inception, all these things we are going to use in the same code, but I am not going to develop anything completely on my own. We are going to just capitalize the advantage of using pre-trained, pre-available models to find or to achieve the task. We will go ahead with it. Let me tell you what exactly is the task. We are going to identify which breed is the dog image that I am going to upload with. I have got a dog image and I need to identify which breed does this dog belong to. And I am going to use the models like Inception V3, VGG16, ResNet, MobileNet, all these things we are going to use and we are going to use all this in a very simple way to just tell you how exactly transfer learning can be accomplished. The first thing I am using a very simple collab. I mean, you must be familiar with it. We are going to use that for the first time. I am navigating from Jupyter to collab. So if you are not familiar with it, I will take some other session sometime later wherein how do we use collab also so you can make use of it. The first step of the code is very simple where we are importing all the images into our drive. It is my local drive. My Google Drive, I'm going to take up and there the content would be available. The content is nothing here. I'm going to have a image and the image is going to be operated on with the models that we have and we will get the result identified as is it a Labrador or is it an Alsatian or what is it? We are going to classify which group does the dog belong to, which breed does the dog belong to. Let's get into the code. The first step, once the code is, once the mounting is done, once the uh, drive related stuff is done, we are getting into the next level where you can see that we have got VGG16 part done. Keras has got support for everything and what we are going to do is I am going to import Keras, I am going to import NumPy as NP, Keras applications within that we have got VGG16 and I am going to import that. So we are taking the VGG16 and we are going to load the VGG16 model. How do we load it? Very simple. We are taking it from the Keras and we are using it. Now VGG model is nothing but equal to VGG16 dot VGG16 weights equal to image net. These are the weights associated with this particular process and we need to specify it. Now once it is done the data would be downloaded and that's what you are seeing in front of you. This process will go on maybe for a few seconds and you will go to the next level right now. The next level is with Inception V3. Same step, same procedure. I am going to import the Inception V3 from Keras applications and the inception model will also have respective weights associated with it and we have given the same weights. It will also be downloaded. Next, we are going to ResNet. The same procedure follows and we are getting the ResNet 50 imported out from the Keras. The final thing is MobileNet and I am going to import that as well and we have got that downloaded, imported as well. Now what did we do? We have got four models which are pre-trained, pre-available and I am capitalizing them for doing the task. I am going to take a task where we are going to find out if a dog belongs to this particular breed and for that I am going to use all these four one after another that's going to be done and it's very easy to understand and once you see through the code you will understand it much more easier so i have explained you just the import part of it for the transfer learning and next comes the most important part where you will understand how do we load the image and how do we pre-process the image this is the next part of it the first preliminary work is all done now we are getting into the process or the stage where we are going to load the particular image and to pre-process the image. It's very important to learn. Now what are all the things that we import? We will have to import the load image because it is important. Image to array, whenever you talk about an image, it is all about math, it is all about array. So we have image to array and we have got Keras applications, ImageNet utils. We are, we are also using that and we are importing decode predictions. We are using plotting related stuff. We need plottings to be done. We are using NumPy. Now the file is nothing but cat or dog r1 and the file is shown to you sometime back right in the same page where you can see that this is the file that I wanted to check and this is the name of the file that I have coded here. The name of the file is nothing but cat or dog underscore one and now I will have to give this path completely and I am loading it. That's the first step where we have loaded and the target size is 224 cross 224 and this is to be included as well. 
now what is the next step the next step is very simple and is very important as well we are going to get the numpy image with image to array original image is fed in as the input and the next is the most important step which most of us might not understand right in the first shot so what is this np.expand underscore dams numpy access equal to zero very simple we are having four different models we are having four different models and all the four different models may need four different types of input. I mean the image is the same but they may need it to be pre-processed in four different ways for it to be processed. Now when you follow this method we are getting the image suitable for all the four models to process it with ease. This is a simple step where we are getting one thing ready and all the four can be catered with this one thing. That's exactly how you can say it in a very simple way. Now what is the next thing we need to get the PAL image size with you can see that original image dot size numpy image size input image size we are acquiring all those and the sizes are printed what is PAL PAL is python imaging uh, library we have got a lot of resizing related image related content over there you can go through it if you have time and if you want to learn it further now we have just printed it and you can see that the size of PAL image size initially is 224 224 then when it is becoming numpy you get RGB included into it which is mentioned as 3 and input image size is 1 224 224 again 3 so we have got all this and the image is plotted for your easier reference and understanding now what is the next step we need to go ahead and normalize the image we are pre-processing the image for vgg16 that's done with pre-process underscore input function for vgg16 similarly we need to pre-process it for in inception v3 model also it can be done with inception underscore v3 pre-process underscore input with input image copy similarly we go with resnet we go with mobile net and all these are pre-processing steps where we have pre-processed and we made sure that the entire process is gonna smooth now the next thing is to predict we are going to take all these step by step we have used vgg16 first now we are going to predict it how do we predict it there is a method available for it vgg model dot predict and we are processing we are passing the processed image that's the difference the last time when we had it was a raw image now we processed it for vgg16 and we are sending it as an input for it and we have pre-processed it actually and we have sent it into the vgg model predict and once the prediction is done you got the result right in front of you where you can see that it is a labrador retriever and the next option likewise golden retriever you can see that all the breeds possible breeds are there with most important accuracy is also mentioned over here you can see that the accuracy is kept on mentioning here and these are all the possibilities that we have towards identifying what is that particular breed you can see that labrador has got the highest of accuracy which means that this is the dog it could be this is the breed it could be similarly we have gone for inception model where same is the case and the accuracy for labrador is pretty high here this definitely shows that this could be a labrador and 99 percent accuracy is there and you you need to understand that we have used the same method like inception model predict is used here last time it was just vgg model predict this time it is inception model predict one thing that you need to understand is the rest of the predictions are also given here very clearly for labrador it was 99 for golden retriever you can see that accuracy has come down because 99 percent accuracy it was very sure and we could conclude it as labrador and the third one is resnet we have got the results as 70.77 70.75 something similarly golden retriever has got 26.37 something and the last one is mobile net where you can see that accuracy is pretty appreciable and it is 90 point something 90.64 and now the most important point to understand here is the inception v3 is the best out of all the available models and this is what is called transfer learning what we do very simple we utilized all the available models we did not do anything new instead we capitalized the available features in the facilities to do some great task we have identified what breed a dog belongs to so easily with this approach and i hope you understood how exactly things work if you have any questions suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be able to answer them and in case you like the channel and the content please give a thumbs up and subscribe see you again soon thank you